Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to study the binary division. For performing binary division, we are going to use this structure for all the binary division problem. Here we have divisor. Here we write dividend. Here we get quotient. And at last we get remainder at the bottom. What is divisor? The number by which we divide a particular number. And the number which is divided get divided is called dividend. The answer that you get is called quotient and remainder will be written in the bottom. We use this uh, structure for all the division problem. So we are going to use the same method to perform binary division problem. Okay. So we'll see our first example. Example one will perform solve. 101010 in binary divided by 110 in binary. Now to solve this problem, we will write here. Here is our divisor that is 110, and this is our dividend 101010. Zero, right? So we'll divide it now. Now, if we take the first digit, that is one, which is one is less than less than one one zero. So this is not divisible. We put zero. If you put a zero here, you get one as it is. Then we bring down this zero here, so it becomes one zero. Again, one zero is less than one one zero. So again it is not divisible, we put 0 here, so after this you get 1 0, you bring down this 1 now here, so this becomes 1 0 1, again 1 0 1 is less than 1 1 0, again it is not divisible, so we put 0 here, if you subtract 0 from here, you will get 1 0 1 as it is, now we bring down this Zero. This become one zero one zero. Now, if you see one zero one zero is greater than one one zero, you can divide. So you just write quotient becomes one, and you subtract one one zero from it. So you get what? You get zero zero. You bring this borrow from here. You get two minus one is one, and here it is nothing. So it is zero. So you have your answer as 0 1 0 0 now you bring the next digit below so it is 1 again 1 0 0 1 is greater than 1 1 0 you can divide your quotient becomes 1 you subtract 1 1 0 from it you will get 1 now how to subtract this? 0 minus 1 is not possible. This is not possible. You have to take one borrow from here. So when you take one borrow, it is 2. 2 minus 1 is sorry. Here 2 again. You give one borrow here. So this become 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Here 1 is remain because out of these 2 you get you given one borrow. So 1 minus 1 is 0. And there is nothing here because you are given it as borrow here. Uh, it is zero here, and this zero as it is. Now we bring it down this zero, last zero here. So this is one one zero, and again one one zero is equals to one one zero. It is divisible. You put one in the quotient. You put one in the quotient, and perform the subtraction of these two numbers minus one one zero you get zero 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 in the remainder part this is quotient this is remainder now if you see in this example in front of this three one there are three zeros you can discard this 
we can discard this zero because if you put zero in front of any number there is no change into the original number so our answer is one 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 for this problem therefore we can say that one zero one zero one zero one zero binary divided by one one zero in binary is equals to one 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 in binary we will see one more problem to better understand the binary division concept let's see one more example example two where we'll perform the division of two numbers like one zero zero one 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 in binary divided by one one in binary we solve this again we use the same structure here we have divisor one one dividend is one zero zero one 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 now take the first digit it is not divisible zero sorry one is less than one one so it is not divisible so we put zero here minus zero one as it is we bring out this zero here it becomes one zero again this one zero is less than one one it is not divisible if you subtract zero you get again the same thing one zero bring down this zero here now one zero zero which is greater than one one it is divisible now you put one minus one one now see how to perform this um, uh, subtraction zero minus one is not possible so even if you take the borrow from here there is no thing to take borrow here we will take it borrow from here when you take borrow from here here is here it becomes zero and here at zero plus it becomes two because whenever you take one borrow from uh, this uh, digit in binary one borrow is equal to two from this two we will give one borrow here again one borrow equals to two two minus one is one now here one is remain one minus one is zero there is nothing here because we are given is this one as the bar here so zero as it is here now take this one down this become one 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 is equals to one one we can divide so your question becomes one subtract this this becomes zero zero now bring down the next one so this is one here this zero zero one is less than one one so not divisible we put zero here we subtract this this is one as it is bring down this one here now if you see one one is equals to one one it is divisible so question becomes one subtract this one one you get zero zero now there are no digits for, uh, further for division so this is the end of the problem and this is the quotient and this is remainder of this problem therefore we can say that one zero zero one 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 in binary divided by one one in binary is equals to you can discard these two zeros because if you put zero in front of any number there is no change into the given number so therefore your answer is one one zero one you just put it here one one zero one in binary